we're on another visa run, this time to the Lion City of Asia. Let's do 72 hours in Singapore. We're finally in, well, a place that Matthew has been to, that I have never been to. So it's time to, for Matthew to show me around. I've got this covered. So of course we get to Singapore and we check in with our hotel and we start to walk over to the first place we want to go and it starts raining. The tropics. Hopefully, if it stops raining this week and we can come back over here, we will show you this. Important. But if we didn't insert it, then we're at Suntech City and this is supposed to be one of the best hawker stalls in Singapore. So let's get some food. See. So what'd you get, baby? We got the braised pork and we got the pepper chicken with noodles, handmade noodles. And what did you get? Lime juice. Choice. Mm, that's saucy. It's very, very muted in flavor. This one definitely has more flavor. Alright, so this one is a bit, a bit flavorless, so we're gonna add some things. See if we can spice things up. Oh yeah, that's better. Can't take her anywhere. You can take me everywhere. I wanna go play games. We're gonna catch a big fish! Okay, so I don't think it's gonna stop raining anytime soon. I had to put the gimbal and everything away, so we're all bouncing. Yeah, I think we're bouncing a lot. Well, we can do this inside. I'm gonna take you to one of my favorite places in Singapore. Let's go. The Raffles Hotel, established in 1887, is named after Sir Thomas Stamford Raffles, the founder of modern Singapore. It's been a flagship hotel in Singapore since. This is the Singapore sling that Matthew has been speaking about pretty much since the first day I met him. It better live up to its reputation, people. What do you think of the long bar? So far, very messy. It's not messy. Look at the floor. Oh, yeah. They're okay. messy because peanuts. Yep, let's get two of the original slings. Yes, it was it's a the half. first day one. It's the first day one. Wait. It's the first day one. <laughs> so Singapore's trains are pretty cool. You can buy a tourist pass. You can just tap on and off the train with your 
a debit card or credit card, any kind of Visa, MasterCard or something, you can just tap on and off with that. So you don't have to buy anything. Ticket. Which is kind of cool. You don't have to buy a ticket. Yeah. Show up. If you have a card, tap on it. Progressive people. Be progressive. Be, be progressive. So we're trying Yang Zheng and what do we got there? Snow beer. Snow beer. She's so pretty, isn't she? Eat the dumpling. I don't know, you got pork cabbage. I just wanted pork. We need to have our veggies. So much flavor in there. So, from the things that I've read, a lot of people say that China Chinatown, like in town town in the center, is like a little bit tacky, a little bit cheesy. But if you go like on the street to just on the periphery, peripheral, periphery, Sinten. peripheral, uh, that's where the cool stuff happens. Yeah. So go to the peripherals, or the yeah, periphery. Yeah. Like so, just if you kind of like take the side street off. This, from the center, that's where like the cool kind of real Chinatown is. Let's So once again, we're hiding from the rain. Whenever we go out to explore, it just starts raining. This is the disadvantage of touring the Asian tropics during the rainy season, but it's okay to have beer. And food. We're not doing really well with rain, are we? Well, we're doing well with rain, but rain's not doing well with us. It's not raining right now, but we're gonna go to cigar bars. Let's go. It's uh, from Cuba. What can you tell us about it? It's very spicy and very woodsy. I like it. It goes well with our Napa Cabernet. So I actually find it quite surprising. You told me what I'm discovering is actually you shouldn't drink a very high end wine when you're smoking a cigar. You're kind of wasting it. Like a really high end wine that has a lot of complexity and a lot of flavors, the smoke from the tobacco is going to kind of kill it. A high end wine will still taste good, but you're losing all the complexity of it with the tobacco flavors. So, Chloe tried Nicaraguan cigars in Kuala Lumpur. And now in Singapore, she's getting a true Cuban. Adios.
welcome to Boat Key. Welcome, people, welcome. Gonna go for some Lebanese food for lunch. We are getting some lamb kofta and lamb shawarma. It's pretty boring, we're just eating lamb. I know, but we don't get lamb in Bali, so yeah. the time is now. Yeah, I can use a break from chicken. I could use a break from chicken. Look at this view. This is how clean Singapore is. They have boats that literally just go around cleaning the river. So are we moving to Singapore? No. No? No. It's a cool city. It's a cool place to travel to. But no, I, I don't want to live here. The question is, where are we going next? Fullerton Hotel is built on the site of the original fort to protect the city of Singapore. The building, built in 1829, was originally an office building in the post office. Now it's a five-star hotel. This is Lao Passat, which I think is the oldest, I think it's the oldest hawker stall in Singapore. I'm trying to find Singapore noodles. Michelin star. Well, Michelin. Michelin there. But I did spy my eye on an egg, the classic or traditional egg tart or something. I think that I should go give that a go. Good idea? Is that gonna make up for it? I don't know, we'll see. It doesn't work. You get a $60 voucher or $30 so each. Thir you get a $30 voucher each. So you pay 30 bucks to come up here. They give you a voucher to use on food and alcohol. Or food and drinks, you don't have to get alcohol. 
but if you don't use it all, you don't get it refunded. It's basically 30 bucks to get up here. They give you that amount to use on drinks or food, but if you don't use it all, you don't get it back. So we have an extra friend with us today. Despite the price and it being a bit of a scam, I'm just taking over the view now and it looks like it's going to be well worth it. Probably one of the best views I've ever seen. So it's pretty gorgeous, but I would recommend probably coming earlier in the day so you could snag a table. Yeah. Look. Stand in your moment. Or you could get a private reserved table for, I don't know the cost of that. We'll insert it here. <laughs> Morning, saying goodbye to Singapore. Going to Singapore Coffee at Raffles Hotel. <laughs> this thing here one night would have been our entire budget for Singapore, but you know. Don't forget to leave me some scone too. Okay, now the great debate. Is it cream before jam or jam before cream? Oh, look at that jam. That's like... That's proper. <laughs> that is proper. Just having a scone at the Raffles Hotel. This signature blend. That's strong coffee. That's really good. Yeah, we're staying here next time. Singapore is a beautiful city full of culture, food, and fun. Make sure this is on your list of world travel experiences. And make sure to like and subscribe below. You're going to want to see where we go next. <laughs>